Greetings everyone and welcome to seminar on Google Glass. Before we dive in, let me first introduce myself. I'm Ritika Saini. I'm a third year B.Tech CSC student currently studying at Bennett University. You can also call me a tech enthusiast with interest in various fields exploring unique gadgets and innovation. Firstly, I'd like to thank Bennett University for providing this wonderful opportunity to talk on this topic. Bennett University is a top-ranked private university with a mission to provide Ivy League quality education and learning experience in higher education space in a world-class infrastructure and research-driven academic environment. The students looking for well-rounded academic experience and with enhanced employability prospects and to the harness human capital sustainable for competitive edge and social relevance. So let's get started. The points that we will be discussing today are basically what is Google Glass, how does it work, utility of Google Glass, history of it, and similar products to the one we are discussing. So what is Google Glass? Google Glass, or simply known as Glass, is a brand of smart glasses, an optical head-mounted display designed in shape of pair of glasses. It was re released in 2013. Glass is a small, lightweight, wearable computer with a transparent display. Google Glass displays information in a smartphone like hands free format. The wearers can communicate with the internet via natural language, voice commands, and perform various tasks like record videos and surf the web. If you want to know what is Glass briefly, Glass is a smart glass with futuristic approach, interactive interface personalizable applications, a hand-free controlling system, and very, very lightweight frame. So how does Google Glass work? Let's talk about it. Glass actually work. This is the basic structure of a Google Glass. The back of the Google Glass includes a battery, a 800mAh internal ion lithium, lithium ion battery. The CPU is in the middle of the glass. The middle also includes a touchpad which can be used by the user to control the gesture. 8 megapixel color sensor camera with 1080p video recording. It all, the front of the glass includes a prism display which is which helps to display the screen on the environment of the user. It includes a microphone and speaker which can be connected to our phone. It also includes a feature with which we can connect uh, uh, the glass to Bluetooth. Google Glass is a technical masterpiece. It combines numerous functions and features in a very small unit. As shown in the figure, Google Glass contains a mini projector which projects a layer via clever, semi-transparent prism directly on the retina of the eye. Because of this, the image, even though it is so close to the eye, is sharp and clear. You can move the front part of the Google Glass easily to optimize focus. Google offered a companion Android and iOS app called MyGlass. This app allows users to configure and manage the device. This companion app allows you to set up Glass and manage Glassware apps from Google and third-party developers. It also lets you see captured photos, screencasts, control notification and other settings. 
Now let's discuss the utility of Google Glass. How do people actually use Google Glass? The Google Glass is used to stay focused, improve accuracy, and collaborate in real time. It is also used in many phone applications, medicine, and to also help people with autism. Google Glass helps people to stay focused in a way that it intuitively fits into your workflow and helps you remain engaged and improve focus by removing all distractions. You can use voice commands. You can also activate the right application from you at any time. Google Glass can be also used to improve accuracy of workers. It can be used to access training videos, images annotated with instructions or quality assurance checklists that can help you to get job done safely, quickly and to a higher standard. Glass can also be used to collaborate in real time, which means Glass can be used to connect you with co-workers in an instant, bringing expertise right to where you are, inviting others to see what you can see. Through a live video stream, you can collaborate and troubleshoot in real time. It also helps in managing applications, basically which are all the apps on your phone. Using Glass, you can access many phone applications supported by your device. For example, checking your calendar, checking emails, making a phone call or accessing Google Maps, etc. It can be also used in medicine field. Google Glass enables clinicians to review emergency triage and operating procedure for training and self-assessment purposes. This helps in improving accuracy for future procedure as well as reduces likelihood of mistakes. Another interesting aspect of utility of Google Glass is helping children who are suffering with autism. A sample study shows the children with autism were able to improve their social skills by using a smartphone app paired with Google Glass to help them understand the emotions conveyed in facial expression of other people. Now we have come to understand that Google Glass do play a very important role and it is a very technically advanced innovation but why isn't it as famous as it was back in the day? Uh, it was a very hype product in 2013 when it was just launched, but we do not hear people talking about it in 2022. During its initial years, the glass attracted many tech enthusiasts and had a huge hype during its first launch. But as soon as it was launched, it received huge criticism due to potential threat to privacy. People saw it as a threat as they could be recorded without consent using this smart glass. As Google Glass did not have any feature to notify the person in front of the user if they are being recorded, this posed, this posed a huge threat to people's privacy. This also caused mistrust among various Glass users. This was the first major reason which led to failure of this project. The major reasons why this product faced criticism has been discussed as follows. The major first reason was due to privacy concerns. Concerns have been raised by various sources regarding the intrusion of privacy and etiquettes and ethics of using this device in public and recording people without their permission. Privacy advocates are concerned that people wearing such eyewear may be able to identify strangers in public using facial recognition. They might also record and broadcast private conversations. Second reasons are due to safety consideration. Concerns have been raised on operating motor vehicles while wearing this device. On July 31st, 2013, it was reported that driving while wearing Google Glass was likely to be banned in the UK. Being deemed as careless driving, therefore, a fixed penalty, penalty offence following a decision by Department of Transport. Concerns were also raised in regard of privacy and security of glass users in an event where their device has been stolen or lost. This issue was raised by a US Congressional Committee. As a part of its response to the committee, Google stated that locking the system for the device is in development. 
Google also reminds users that Google Glass can be remotely reset. Let's understand what's the current situation of this project. The consumer edition have been discontinued by Google. In 2020, the update have was released which disabled all the functionalities to use phone apps on Glass. This lack of support was another major reason which was which led to failure of this project. But Glass is still used by many big enterprise customers for their businesses. Some of the major major customers of Glass are Neovia, Samsung, DHL, etc. Now I'll be discussing some case studies of real-time users of Google Glass in various companies of different fields. DB Shankar has successfully introduced smart glasses from Pickaway and scanning gloves from ProGlove in order of picking operations in Germany. In order to increase their warehouse efficiency, the future goal is to implement smart picking solution as standard procedure across multiple locations. AGCO is a global leader in designing, manufacturing and distributing agricultural solutions and supports more productive farming through its full-time equipment related services. They use glass to reduce production time on low volume and complex assemblies. They say glass really gives our operators ability to do their jobs faster, smarter and in a safer manner. DHL DHL is world leading logistic company introduced vision picking. With vision picking technique, freeing their hands of paper instruction and real time picking instructions and the scanning function of glass pickers can work far more efficiently and comfortably. GE partnered with Upskill to implement the Skylight platform with glass in warehouse and manufacturing facilities globally. At Renewal Energy in Florida, wiring technicians experienced a 34% increase in productivity and meaningful quality improvements while assembling wind turbines using skylight with glass. As reported by Upskill, they saw 34% in increase in efficiency in top box wiring processes. Another similar example in field of medical science has been observed in case of Sutter Health. Patients should receive doctor's undivided attention during office visits. By using glass and a solution built by Augmedic, Sutter Health lib liberates doctors from hours of documenting and charting work, uh, work with health histories and medical conditions so that they can spend more time doing the work they love, that is, taking care of the patient. This method has helped them save two hours per day on average, as reported by Augmedic. Google Glass still stand out in its innovation which was bought up almost a decade ago. Being ahead of its time, the project wasn't a complete failure as we can still observe in market competing companies launching similar product. We can observe many big companies launching similar products like Apple Glasses, Spectacles by Snap.ink and Ray-Ban and Facebook collaboration to launch their smart glasses. Since we can already observe many companies trying to dig in into the same technology, hence the future scope of this product can be discussed thoroughly. Google Class still has a huge enterprise market as we discussed earlier, with a lot of big companies as their customers. With increasing awareness and demand of augmented reality, the return of glass as a consumer product is very likely to happen in the nearby future. Moreover, the augmented reality market was valued at USD 14.7 billion. If we notice, the glass is mostly being used in factories these days, but there are a lot of glass partners who are trying to drag these smart glasses into other sectors as well. This ensures a bright future for this product. Thank you everyone.